Hey everyone, I'm happy to be here in the art room today and we are going to be doing a really fun activity I think you're going to enjoy. Get to use your imagination and be creative. This is called Symmetrical Creatures and we start off by just drawing one half of a creature and then we fold our paper, we use a little bit of pencil and sharpie, transfer it to the other side so we have a symmetrical mirror image and then you get to color it in. So some examples I have for you to look at, um, these were made with crayon, we're gonna be using Sharpie, so this is a little different method, but you can see you can use your imagination and make some sort of monster or some sort of alien. Now this one isn't finished, I haven't traced over the other side yet, but you can get the idea. This one's more realistic. Let's see, oh, this one I made half of an owl. And this one I made another half of a cat. You can kind of see the mirror image there, not transferred yet. And this one, definitely an alien. So you'll be able to use your imaginations and decide what you wanna to make today. So get your materials ready, set up your workspace, and we'll get started. All right, we've got our materials ready. The first step that we're going to do is take our thin copier paper and fold it in half. I like to fold it in half long ways. You can see from my examples I showed you, you could also fold it in half the other direction. To get a good fold, I put my thumbs on the top and my fingers on the bottom and I line up the edge of the paper. When I feel like it's pretty straight, I take my thumb and pivot my fingers that way. So I'm holding um, the top stretched out and I take my finger from the center, draw a line to the middle and crease it up and down that way. Usually that helps you get a nice straight fold. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my paper now and I'm actually gonna put my paper this direction, turn it this way. All right, so I'm gonna just draw half of a creature. If it's easier for you, you can keep your paper folded up. Sometimes that makes it a little easier for me too. So let's do that. I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna draw half of a creature. Now, because this is going to be symmetrical, you have to think about if you want your creature to just have one nose, for example, you would be drawing half of a nose from the folded side. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna start by drawing the outline of my creature. So there's gonna be some sort of ear here. And right here is the fold, so make sure your fold is right there as well. You have to draw it from the folded side, meaning that my lines are connected to the fold. My open side, no lines are gonna connect to that. There's gonna be some zigzags here. Okay, and then I'm gonna kinda of make a little point here and it's gonna go back connected to the folded side. So this is the open side. No lines are touching the open side, but my start and my end are touching the folded side. Now I'm gonna make the facial features. So I know if I want one of something, then I have to draw half of it so let's pretend I want one big eye here. So that's half of an eye. And here's half of an eyeball. And maybe I'll even put half of a circle inside my big eyeball. So right now, this creature will have one big eyeball. You can imagine the other side right there. If I want one nose, then I have to draw half of a nose. Now, I'm gonna start by drawing the bottom of it, and then it's gonna have a kind of a big nostril here, and then it's gonna kinda of come up like that. So that's half of a nose. See how it's connected to the fold? Okay, and then I want one mouth. So I have to draw half of a mouth connected to my fold. So I'm gonna kind of draw a little bit of a scary mouth. So that's half a mouth. And what's gonna make it scary are um, these pointy teeth it's gonna have. So it's gonna have three teeth on the top on this side. And how about two teeth here and one half of a tooth there. That'll connect in the middle. 
Um, I'm going to put another mimic shape inside that triangle shape. And I'm going to add a couple more of these kind of V's to mimic that. It's going to be kind of mimicking scales or fur. Hmm. Okay, I think I might be finished. So now I'm going to trace this with a Sharpie. Tracing this with Sharpie is going to allow me to see my lines a lot better when I trace it in the mirror for the mirror image, or I trace it in the window for the mirror image. So you can notice I have Sharpie paper underneath my drawing paper to protect my table. Make sure you have something underneath your paper to protect your table. Make sure you're tracing carefully. Okay, now what I'm going to do is flip this over and in the window, I'm gonna trace the lines that I see. So tracing in the window just helps me to be able to um, have a little light behind it and let me see what I'm doing. Sometimes you can see the lines, but it's still hard to see. So I like to put this in the window. Okay, so as you can see, it's not a very bright day outside, but just that light, I can press my paper and I can see the lines to trace. I'm tracing with my pencil. I don't want to trace with Sharpie on the window because then I can get Sharpie on the glass. That's probably not a good idea. So I'm pressing the paper down and with my fingers as I trace. And that helps me to trace exactly on the lines. Okay, I checked to make sure I didn't miss any lines. And you can see now when I open it up how it's connected. So the lines that touch the fold are now connected and made a big symmetrical shape. Now I'm gonna go Sharpie that on this side. All right, so I'm Sharpieing the symmetrical side now. And when I Sharpie the side, I really want to make my lines connect on that center fold. So it looks cohesive and connected. When you're done Sharpieing, you might decide to use your eraser to erase your extra pencil marks before you color. When you color this, you could use crayons, markers, colored pencils. My favorite material to color these with is crayons. I like to layer the crayon colors. I think it helps to color it a little faster too. All right. Ready to color? I'm gonna choose a couple different colors of orange for my monster's face. Okay, I have finished making my symmetrical creature. It was a lot of fun to color and to create. I hope that you enjoyed this and you make lots of different symmetrical creatures. Try a realistic one, try a monsterish one, try an alienish one, maybe even an animal-ish one. Have a lot of fun and I'll see you next time.